Hi, I'm Charlene Happermeyer of Good Parenting, Brighter Children, and this is Tidbits of Wisdom for Parents. I'm very excited about the topic I'm going to talk about today. It's on the theory of multiple intelligences that has been around for eons. But in 1983, Dr. Howard Gardner of Harvard University published a book, Frames of Mind. He basically, in this book, had taken the hundreds of different ways that we can be intelligent and he categorized them into seven different areas. He also debunked the whole entire theory that prior to his book coming out that educators believed, and that was that we are born with a fixed intelligence that is measured by an IQ test. And Gardner said, no, sorry, that is not correct. He said there are many ways to be smart. And he named seven at that particular time, and later he added two more. These are the ways that he said, logical mathematical, which is number or reasoning smart. Linguistic, which is word smart. Music, which is sound smart. Bodily kinesthetic, which is body smart. Spatial, which is picture smart. Interpersonal intelligence, which is people smart. Intrapersonal intelligence, which is self smart. And later he added naturalist, which is nature smart and existential, which is life or spiritual smart. Now, in his first book, Frames of Mind, he talked about that all of these different smarts come together and that they complement and help one in, and, and support one another. Now, what happened is parents and educators, after reading this book, they decided to pigeonhole their child or student into one area of these smarts. Gardner said, no, do not do this. And the reason being is that we have all of these intelligences within us and that they will surface at different times in our life, depending on how we develop them and how we nurture them and so forth. He later came out in one of his subsequent books and said that music intelligence was so powerful that if a child learns a musical instrument or if an adult learns a musical instrument, that it will affect and support and develop all of the other intelligences at the same time. I write about this in my book, Good Music, Brighter, Parent, Good Music, Brighter Children. I also have written extensively a blog on this, on the different types of smart, the uh, categories and different things that you can look for with yourself and your children to see if, if uh, these types of smarts. Oftentimes, too, that you need to know is that he talked about that logical mathematical smart, that the people who write all the standardized tests are logical mathematical. So a child who usually does well with standardized tests or an SAT or an ACT test, it's usually because they're logical mathematical, because they understand how the tests have been written, which I thought was extremely interesting too. So if your child takes a standardized test or later to en enter into college with an ACT or an SAT test and they don't do as well as you thought they should have, of course there's ways to beat it and to take classes on how you take these tests, but don't under underestimate the, the smartness of your child. It's there. It just needs to be nurtured and supported. I'm going to end with a quote, almost forgot. This is by Evie White. It is genius is more often found in a cracked pot than in a whole pot. In other words, let's all embrace our smarts and our uniqueness. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you tomorrow.